Hi, this is Adrian Starzynski. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send documents, e-forms, and lab results to the patient from OSCAR EMR. So if I go into my demo patient to show you, this patient has many e-forms and documents. There's two ways we can send anything to the patient. The first way is the manual way, which is you have to download the e-form or document or lab result as a PDF, and then you have to send that manually through your own email app like Gmail or Outlook and attach that just as an insecure attachment and send it that way. So the way you would do this, let's say for an e-form that you want to share with the patient manually, you would go in and sometimes there's a PDF PDF button that you can just click, but other times you will have to click print and then save as PDF. And then you would have to send that manually through your email program. Same thing for documents and lab results, you would have to download them and then just send them manually. There's another way that you can use that is much more efficient and secure for sending anything to the patient. And I'll show you that right now. So this is called the Cortico plugin. And when you have the plugin installed, you will see a little bubble down here with the icon that you can click on. And from there, you can send the patient a secure message through email or SMS. And you can attach any documents, e-forms, lab results, or you can manually upload files to this as well. We can also use canned responses to set up a canned response. We can add a new one or just quickly select existing ones to send information to the patient. So let's say I want to upload a manual file. I can just do that easily this way. Or I can select a document from the patient's existing record. Notice all of these are matching up with the patient's documents on the left. So this is directly from the chart. I don't have to download anything manually and re-upload. I can simply select what I want to send them. And if I also want to attach an e-form, I can click this extra button and then select the e-forms I need to share. There we go. Now I can send this to the patient. Their email gets automatically populated over here, but you can change this. And we're able to copy this note to the encounter. So when we send this to the patient, there will be a record in the chart like this. When we click send, this does not just send them a regular email with, with the attachments. Since this is personal health information, it's sensitive data, it needs to be secure. So what this does, the patient receives an email with a secure link to view these documents. And before they have access to them, the patient must enter their date of birth and health card to make sure they're the correct recipient. And then that just validates with their chart, make sure it's the correct data. And once it's entered and correct, then the patient has limited period of time to access the downloaded attachments. That's in compliance with all of the PIPIDA and PIPA security regulations. All of those, they say that you have to have a way to authenticate the patient and make sure it's temporary access. So when we send this message, we get a little notification and this is very conveniently pasted right into my note. So I don't have to copy and paste anything myself. I can just simply select that option and it will go right here. Now let's say I am in a patient's e-form and I just want to quickly send one time this e-form to them. So I can just click the bubble from the e-form and it will automatically be attached. So I can just follow the same procedure by entering my message or selecting a canned response and copying this to the encounter if I wish. And then 
it will just be sent with this eForm preselected. Now, if we're in the patient's documents management, so here we have a lot of documents for the patient. Let's say we want them to have a copy of this lab rec that was manually scanned a while ago. We can simply click this. And also this will open the bubble with attaching this right away. So we don't have to do anything manually. We don't have to download this and re-upload it somehow. It will just automatically be attached securely and you can send them this secure message. Now, lastly, I'll give you an example of how we can send the patient lab results easily. So I'm going to go to my other system here, which has some lab results. So let's say we opened a lab result from the inbox or we go to their chart. We can simply click on this little bubble down here for cortical bubble again. And the lab result would be automatically attached. In my case, I don't have it attached since this provider is not set up. But you would be able to automatically have the lab result attached and you can send them just like how you would send the eForm or attached document securely. So this is called the cortical plugin bubble. And it's very useful, handy feature that you can do many automations with and send messages securely and have them all recorded in the chart seamlessly. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us. We'd be happy to help.